let's talk about the autocorrelation function analysis on time series data. So suppose we have a time series data of uh, y of t, and at each time when we make the observation, we call it y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, all the way to y of t. That's our total number of observations that we made. So the autocorrelation function for this time series data, the expression looks like R of k, k is the lag time, equals summation t start from k plus one to the total number of observations, y t minus mean value times y t minus k minus the mean value normalized by the variance of the time series data. So that is t starts from one to the total time and y t minus the mean value square. That's, that's the expression that's the expression for the um, autocorrelation function of the time series data. So let's look at the expression in greater detail. If k equals one, that means we're making the, observa of the observation of the time series data. When we do the autocorrelation functions, if the lag time k equals one, I will use the black color. So these are the, like, this is y t minus one. So these are the intervals that we are going to take the autocorrelation function of. So let's look at this expression. This summation will start from t equals two to uh, capital T y, y t minus y bar y t minus one minus y bar also normalized normalized by the same denominator that is when t equals uh, sorry when, when k equals one with the lifetime equals one the other, time, the other case is when the lag time equals two. Okay, so this summation has 190, uh, this summation has T minus one terms in that summation. When K equals two, that means our lag time is two so we have these uh, time intervals go on and on. So that is like time equals two. So we have summation t from three to total number of time y t minus y bar y t minus two minus y bar normalized by the same thing. So that is lag time of two. We have t minus two terms in this summation. 
similarly, if we follow this pattern, we may notice that when, when T eventually, when T approaching, sorry, eventually when K approaching T minus one, that means we have a lag time of all the way from one to T. So we only have one data, one time interval we, where we can do the autocorrelation on. So that is at the lag time, total time minus one. And in that case, we only have one summation, one summation term, which is Y of T, Y of So this is y of t minus one, y of t, y of t minus one, again normalized by the same bit. So that is our analysis for the time series data. And uh, in here, there is only one term, one term, one term used in the summation. Okay, so here, sorry, this term is one. This term is one. Mm, this is the this is the time. Uh, autocorrelation function on time series data analysis. Thanks for watching.